guys would say anything, literally anything to get laid in law school. Now this time one guy came to meet me and uh, meets me. To my English, I'm already a boy. Anyways, and he told me that he basically said it like outrightly. What would it cost to have you? At first, I, I, th I thought it was just messing around. I was just saying, oh, I love you so much. And what would it cost to be with you? But it didn't mean it relationship-wise. Like, and they're like very blunt. They will say the way it is. He said, what will it cost to have you? And I'm like, I don't understand. Like, he repeated, hey guys, welcome back to Sunshine's Paradise, guys. It's good to be back here. I don't know if you've missed me, but I have missed you guys. I will not lie. So, guys, it's really amazing to be back here. And you guys know the drill. Please subscribe to my channel. Please, I'm begging. Subscribe. It won't, it won't cost you nothing. Just subscribe right now. Look, look below this video and subscribe like right now. <laughs> and please share with your friends. And leave a comment in the comment section. That won't cost you nothing as well. Just let me know what your thoughts are towards, towards this video. Thank you very much. And as you can tell, this is episode 3 of my last school diaries. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have been following, but I've done like two episodes already. So if you haven't seen them, please check the description box. Um, box what am I saying? You guys should please just check it out. Check out episode one, two, so you are following up to date because it's really amazing. And it's not just for lawyers though, or law students. Anyone can see these videos. Like they tell a lot, not just about law school, but even about my person. So yeah. So going into today's video. Eh, well, what, what, what are we talking about today, guys? <laughs> okay, we'll be talking about um, my surprises in law school and things like, did I say God to learn the hard way in law school? So, majorly surprises and just some tips here and there. Yeah. <laughs> so, first of all, there's one thing I want you guys to know. I don't know about other institutions, but for law school, hmm, the pressure is insane. I will not even lie. Like from the first day of classes, people had already started spending like sleepless nights. People were doing CDV, like today break reading. To the extent that sometimes our lecturers are telling us that what's up? Like we just resumed that people already dozing in class, like because they've been reading all through the night. Like what are people reading? We just resumed and everybody's already like on their toes. The pressure is damn crazy. I will not even lie. That's one thing you should know. The pressure in, in law school, like, it's not overrated, though. You know, where people say yeah, law school is overrated. For the pressure, it's not overrated. I mean, you're just lying down to, like, take a nap. And you're seeing your fellow law school, <laughs> your fellow mates, like, reading like there's no tomorrow. You feel guilty that, hey, my money is wasting. My 300 plus, 300k plus is wasting. So you want to, like, maximize it and it basically puts you on your toes but however it can be very uh, it can be very um would i say tiring it can get to your psyche if you're not careful so you have to know where to draw the line because at the end of the day what, what works for other people might not be necessarily what works for you because for me then my roommates then that i was staying with one is like she can read for like africa like there's no tomorrow she loves reading yeah i'm a lot student but i try to read but no reading is not like one thing I can do for so long, I get tired. So I had to create my timetable. So while I'm sleeping, I'm resting my head. The ones I can read, I will read. I cannot will just come and kill myself. So eventually I had to create a timetable for myself. So I had time for reading and I had time to like chill out. And even though it was like little time, but I needed to have a breathing space for myself basically. So that was it. And going forward, please, if you hear any background noise, as usual, it's a full house, so I apologize for any noise you can, like, hear in the background. Thank you very much for your understanding. Then, second thing I learned the hard way. Guys would say anything to get late. <laughs> now, this is the fun part. I'm serious, guys. Guys would say anything, literally anything to get late in law school. Now, like I said earlier, because the pressure is insane, everyone is like trying to find a way to ease this pressure. For guys, like I don't like because of the way a man's body works, their hormones and everything is all raging. So they'll basically tell you anything because they just want to get laid. Some will even deny, <laughs> even if they have a fiance, even if they are married, they will deny it just because they want to get laid. I had the married roommates. Guys were still asking her out. I'm like, for what? They did not mind. She was always wearing a ring. They didn't care. 
like I said, they will do anything to get laid in law school. <laughs> so, let me just share like two experiences I had personally. I'm not making this up, guys. <laughs> just saying, just putting it out there. So, there was this time one guy came to meet me and uh, meet me to my English. I'm already a boy. Anyways, and he told me that he basically said it like outrightly. What would it cost to have you? At first, I, I, th I thought it was just messing around. I was just saying, oh, I love you so much. And what would it cost to be with you? But it didn't mean it relationship-wise. Like, and they're like very blunt. They will say the way it is. He said, what will it cost to have you? And I'm like, I don't understand. Like, he repeated it again. And the way he repeated, he repeated it, I could feel his intentions. And I'm like, nigga, like, what do you take me for? Like, do I look like, do I look like a, a sex worker or what? I don't get if you are so honey, like, go, I don't understand. Like, they will literally just tell you anything. Like, at a point, I had to come and say, like, ah, happy. Like, what is wrong with you? Only a guy come and meet you and tell you, and what, what will it cost to have you? I'm like, ah, calm down, brother. But I literally just got angry. Like, I got angry and I, I, I walked him out of my sight. So it was very annoying. Then the second one, do was like, oh, let's go out. I'm like, oh, okay, that would be nice. Well, let's just go out and have fun. I'm like, oh, okay. Because me, I like having fun. I'm not like, I like going out. Like, even though in law school, I had to like cover it at the point because ah, mask gotta read. <laughs> so he, he walked up to me and he was like, We started talking. At first, like, I, I thought I thought we we're friends or I thought we we're cool. And he popped the question, Oh, it would be nice for us to like just go out and chill. I'm like, Oh, okay, cool. And the next thing he said, We can go for like three days. This was after exams now, or close to the three. I think we we're done with the exams, but we we're still doing some things, maybe clearance and all. He said, it would be nice to go out and chill for three days. I'm like, three days where? Like, like in an hotel or something. I'm like, okay, three days in an hotel. I don't understand. For what? Then he was like, you know, just chill now. And this was someone that, like, I could feel from his look. You know, I don't know for, I don't know for you guys, but for we girls, you can tell when you guys on him. Merely looking at him, I could see his blood dripping. Like, it was, his body temperature was high. Like, that's, I think, one thing I know about many guys when they are on him. Like, that body temperature gets high. And I'm like... And, like, I, I was literally angry. Like, I had to walk out on him. Like, it was, I said, like, you know, because it's just that like, I can't, like, bring myself to, like, slap it, like, slap a guy. Like, I would have almost slapped him. I was that mad at him. Like, for almost a month, like, we didn't talk. Like, I was like, ah. Because it was not someone I expected it from. I'm like, why? That's why I said, they will say anything to get lit. Regardless of their status, regardless of who they are. Because of their original moons. This was someone that literally, like, I was sure he had someone in his life and everything and serious and... One, two was like, oh, I thought we were on board. I just approached, like, wanted to kiss me, and I'm like, I don't understand what's happening. It was like, hey, he, like he, we're just, like, having fun now, like, no strings attached. I'm like, I'm sorry, like, I don't do that. that that's not just me, so, <laughs> please, that's not just me. Ah, guys, let me just stop here, because this thing is paining me. But we'll continue, like, in the next video, like, I'll give you some more things, like, I found in my stay in law school, but these first two, the pressure... And the fact that guys will just say anything, literally, just to get lit. So beware. And they'll be blunt. They won't even lie to you. It's before they'll, like, try to code it. These days, they'll just say it outrightly. This is what I want to do. And, like, nobody cares. <laughs> so let me just stop there for now. If you're still watching, thank you very much. I love you guys. Mm. See you in the next video.